Our mission at the Virtuous Leadership Institute is to ignite hearts for greatness and raise up a new generation of virtuous leaders capable of transforming life, culture, and business, and so lay the foundations of a new civilization. We have a world to change. We have a world to transform. And whether you accept it or not, we are the ones who are capable of, of, of achieving that. You, me, together, individually, we are capable of achieving that if only we will, if only we will set our minds, our hearts, and our wills towards that end. It's not for want of, it's not for want of technology, tools. The apostles had far less, and they did a lot. We've got a lot at our fingertips, and if we, if we utilize that well, direct it in the right way, even in the small ways in everyday lives, we can affect this change. If you want to transform a society, how do you do it? There are a few areas you might focus on. I think an ideal, think, if you, think with me, if you wanted to change, change a society, it'd be great if there were an institution of some sort that everybody in some capacity had to go through for some prolonged period of time, ideally from the time that they're children, right? This would be really good. It's really good, great, you know, formative years, formative years, if only there were such an institution. Well, thankfully, I think we call it the educational system. There are different educational systems, however you want to think about it, right? But schools, what well, schools? I want you to think about what had the greatest impact on you from your days in school? Look back, think back. What do you remember? What shaped you? I can almost guarantee that it was not the power of the quadratic equation. It wasn't Pride and Prejudice or whatever you might have been reading in those days. It was the impact of specific teachers, right? Teachers, coaches, maybe some friends, mentors, voice, you know, choir directors. It was somebody who had an impact on you. The formative influence of a teacher, the power to shape young people, lies in the person of the teacher, not in the books, not in the curriculum, not in the after school policies. So what we are doing this summer is launching a series of workshops to form teachers, to train teachers in virtuous leadership, to train teachers in virtuous leadership. And we have the goal, and it is a bold goal, but it is an achievable goal, to train 1,000 teachers by May 2019. May 2019, have 1,000 teachers trained in virtuous leadership. Do you have any idea how many students an average teacher impacts every year? They're in contact with the potential to impact 100 students each year. Now, obviously, within one school, there's a lot of overlap. But if we reach 1,000 teachers, that's 100,000 young people that we can impact. And that's no small feat. When you think over the long term, these are the future leaders. We can raise up the future leaders of a new generation. We're also making accessible in ways that never before were possible the vision of virtuous leadership and the ways to achieve that. We're launching a series of online courses that engage multimedia, utilizing the latest of modern technology to bring forth a very old and very time-tested idea to help people cultivate the dream and achieve it, that they can become virtuous leaders. This is something that can be accessible worldwide. Two major initiatives that we're engaged in this summer, leading into this fall, I'd love for you to all join in, to become a part of that, become a part of that. What I want to share with you, and we're going to have in a moment to hear something of a personal experience of the power of virtuous leadership and some of the other ways in society that can impact, but I want to share with you what we believe as an institution, as the, the, inst the Virtuous Leadership Institute. We believe that each and every person is created for greatness and endowed with an unimaginable dignity that can be realized only through the cultivation of the virtues of the heart, magnanimity and humility. We believe that leaders are not born, they are trained. Leadership is not a matter of mere technique, but it is an act of character. You are not a functionary, but a diamond that must be refined and perfected to achieve its true brilliance and radiance. And the task of the leader is to find the diamond that is embedded in each person that they serve. We believe that freedom is not a right but an obligation, and that true freedom is impossible without virtuous leadership. 
We believe that each person already recognizes in their heart the incredible call to discover their mission and to become their true selves, the call to greatness and service. Therefore, in the words of the great architect Daniel Burnham, we will make no little plans, for they have not the magic to stir men's hearts. We will instead dare greatly to achieve greatness by bringing out the greatness in others, for this is the very essence of leadership.